Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Patsy Wagner with StampsToDieFor.com and I'm excited to share with you today um, this fun accordion um, flower that's part of my 52 week series on technique how-to's. Each week I share a little technique. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and so I sell Stampin' Up! products but I also love to share with you. So this week I am using the Delightful Dozen, the little get well out of there. I always want to call it the Dirty Dozen. Um, technical names sometimes escape me so you'll hear me say some pretty funny things. Anyhow, let's get started. I've used the Summer Smooches paper and this is another pattern. I love our designer series papers because they come in 12 different designs uh, double sided so they're really fun. You're going to take a three and a quarter or a one inch by 12 inch piece of cardstock cut and I've pre-scored it and pre-folded it because you're going to score it every quarter of an inch and then you're just going to fold it like the little fans we used to make in elementary school. Remember when we'd make fans and then we'd fan ourselves? Um, and I always make sure that if there isn't a tab that overlaps like this where this piece is going to go into here then I just cut one off if I need to. I'm going to, I put a little piece of sticky strip on here. That's the best thing to hold um, anything that's going to have some, you know, pull to it like a box or like this accordion flower. And then you want to make sure you crease that good. Now I set this up kind of, I want to call it the toilet paper roll uh, look. And you're going to just push these down in the middle like that. And what I've done is I want to flip it over because I want the side that's not going to show. And I put, ah, that's exactly what happens when you're doing this too. It works best on a shiny, shiny surface, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stick some hot glue there. And I've pre-punched um, a little circle that I'm going to put right in the center like that, pretty much to protect my finger. Now you could put the blob on here and of glue and hold it till it dries uh, but that takes a little bit longer um, but you know you can see that the glue doesn't stick to this little silicone mat which is the best and I'm gonna stick a little glue right in the center there and I've punched out a smaller hole because I'm gonna be putting a brad on it and so I want it to be um, you know not gonna show through my brad so if you do not have one of these little silicone craft mats, I highly recommend them. You can snail on them, do whatever, glue doesn't, adhesives don't stick to it. So there we have our little daisy. Um, now I'm going to take out of the pattern paper, there's these, you can see I have a little piece of that glue following me around. I'm taking the littlest circle from our punch trio and I'm just going to punch out the center like that. And we have these builder brads which are so fun. They come, you get 16 brads and 20 of these little epoxy bu bubbles either to embellish another card or if you boo-boo you have a couple extra. You just peel this off, they're self-adhesive and so I'm going to just stick it on my little punched out thing there. Now, you could try to, I tried to get this through here yesterday, it didn't work very good, so I'm just taking a little pliers and I'm pulling off that brad back so it's flat. And I can just then stick another um, hot glue or you could use a glue dot for this, for that matter. And I'm just going to stick that there like that. And now I do need my glue box to get my little glue dot and I'm going to just stick that right in the center and that is as quick and easy as it gets um, for this week's how to technique um, accordion flowers hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to stop by www.stampstodiefor.com to pick up your free little tutorial page so you can make a sample and put it on your page for future reference and hope to see you here again. Have a great week.